Hi all, so um, apologies from the get-go, uh, my audio didn't record so I'm going to have to do um, an overlay onto the video. Uh, so I'm going to be watching the video with you guys and then sort of trying to remember what I spoke about at the time and hopefully it will uh, match up with what we're doing. And in, in sort of my homebrew recommending or sort of a touch on uh, videos is going to be the all-in-one switch updater. So this updater is going to allow you to um, get your atmosphere, firmware and Hecate up to speed. So the first thing you want to do is go to your homebrew app store that I highlighted in the last video and make sure um, you've got that installed because it's going to allow you to get all the apps you need to do. So the first one at the top is AOI switch updater um, or all-in-one switch up data and as you can see as we sort of scroll down is what it allows you to do it allows you to update your custom firmware atmosphere it allows you to download your firmware it's not going to install your firmware and it also allows you to download your um, a cheat uh, archive if you want to um, it doesn't say it just here but you can also um, update your bootloader or Hikate. Um there are a load of other options or tools, um, so they're called extras or tools. Um, these are more advanced settings that uh, if you don't know what you're doing, stay away from them. Uh, you're not going to need to um, get into those too much, but hopefully um, if you do want them, they're there for you. So as I was saying, you, these tools are more advanced features that you don't need to do. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to go back uh, to our home screen and actually boot into the all-in-one switch up data. So go to your... Uh, um, actual homebrew, open up the switch up data and you'll see what options are available um, within the switch up data. So it's very simple and straightforward uh, user interface. So the top one is going to be just a bit of an about, so disclaimer, sort of they're getting rid of any um, liability. So if you do do anything with this, it, they're not responsible for it. Uh, the top one or the second one that you're actually going to be using is update atmosphere. So over to um, the right, you've got a couple of little bullet points at the top. It tells you what version you are on of Atmosphere. And as you can see, I am on the latest version, 0.19.5. Uh, so it tells you a version you're on. And then you've got two options. One has Atmosphere with the homebrew uh, menu. And uh, one is without it. Um, always recommend getting the one with homebrew menu. It's just going to make everything a lot easier for you to use. Um, that second one is going to be for people who are doing a lot more deep dives into atmosphere and don't want, um, they're not just using this for homebrew. So always recommend the top one. Very straightforward, you just click it, it gives you a download and it tells you where it's downloading it from. So it tells you the file it's getting and then where it's coming from. And all you do is click OK. Um, it downloads very quickly. Um, I don't recommend overwriting any of these sort of things um, so if that's a config file there you might have some settings set up that it's going to overwrite you don't want to do that and uh, these sys modules you don't want to overwrite these either so if you do either of those it might um, edit with any settings you've got uh, or anything that is you don't want anything that's already working to stop working so click no and then it is going to do the installation process so what it's going to do here is quickly extract and um, install. It's very quick because it's like a 6 or 7 meg file. So it's not going to take long at all unless your internet is horrendous. So um, what it's going to do, quickly extract it. Um, and then it offers you, if you want to download a Hikate, the latest version. If you haven't got the latest version, then of course um, install this version as well. Um, I already have, so I'm just going to skip over this just for the video because I know I'm on the latest version. This was just to sort of showcase how... Uh, download in it works press no um, and then what it does it will straight away um, reboot your switch so it'll turn off um, you need to then sort of launch payload um, you don't need to put your dongle or your rcm in it will take you straight into hikate or your bootloader and then um, go straight to the next version so i'm just going to cut this now because it's going to stay black for a while So then it once we're back into switch up data, so my switch rebooted, um, so we're going back to that. So that's it. Yeah, that is updating atmosphere. Real easy to do. So you've then got a couple more options which I just want to quickly highlight. Um, so this is where you can uh, download Hikate, uh, your latest version, um, or whatever bootloader you are using. So um, once I catch up with what I was doing. Um, so 
Um, if you do download the Atmosphere the way you did before, you can download Hikate there. But if you just say Hikate release an update and you want to download that, by all means, uh, use this. Okay. So. What we're going to move on to next is um, download firmware. So the all-in-one switch updater does not actually allow you to install the latest firmware. It is just a matter of uh, downloading it. So if you don't want to go online on your switch for whatever reason, um, or you know, unfortunately you've had your switch um, blocked from going on the Nintendo servers, you're not going to be able to download an update to the latest firmware. So um, what this does, this will download the firmware, um, all the files needed, and it will put them into the folder necessary. So, as you can see at the top, it will tell you your current firmware. Mine is 12.1.0, so I haven't used this yet. Um, but, and then at the very top will be the latest firmware. So, we do, click it, and there you go, it will allow you to download it. I'm not going to do that just now because um, I'm actually on the latest firmware already. What that will then do, it will download all the files necessary and um, put them into the folder necessary. As you can see, there is loads and loads of firmwares on here, going all the way back to the original firmwares. Um, I have not seen any um, data that the all-in-one switch updater is a downgrader, so I do not recommend um, downloading old versions uh, to downgrade. I don't know how well it will work, and with um, the way that Nintendo have set up their um, fuses and things like that it will stop you from downgrading so um, I've not tried it and I don't recommend it and I don't really know how it works too well so this is just to get the latest version so if the version is above what yours is download it so then what I'm going to do I'm going to show you where you can install it so um, it's actually a program called Daybreak which comes with Atmosphere so I'm just going to quickly open it so it shows you what it looks like and it's literally just to install um, the latest firmware. Uh, we will do a whole video on how uh, Daybreak works and everything, but you click, open it, click install, and then you go and find the folder that has the, it will be called firmware. Um, I don't believe I've got it created on my SD card at the moment due to I've not ever used um, this system before to update my firmware. 100% once the new firmware is released, whatever version it is, we will download it and we will use it and we will um, do a video on how to how to use it so I believe it's going to be in the switch folder um, or the Nintendo folder and there'll be one called firmware um, so you click it and you click install it's as simple as that anyway let's get back to the all-in-one updater and um, I just want to highlight just a few more things that are available on here so um, you then so we've done the first three and then the fourth one is a download cheats so if you have any cheat software installed on your switch so that you can uh, basically cheat on your games then this is what you're going to want to um, use to get the latest version so across the top it tells you that it will download the latest archive so there are the version numbers there. obviously they release more and more versions every day um, and the good thing about this is it will actually scan your switch for what games you've installed and only install the cheats for the games you've installed on your SD card so it's not going to take up a load of space that is unnecessary and so you literally just click that download and it will download the archive and install it at the bottom there are two more which is uh, download cheat codes and download cheat sheets so I believe these are for you to search for an individual game that you were looking for um, I don't understand why you would use those if the archive is going to get all the uh, cheats available for whatever game you've got installed but there is some more advanced features on here so those are there for people who know what they're doing and uh, want to dive a little bit more deeper into those but for the um, sort of novice like you and me let's use the top one and lastly you've got some tools so cheats.menu I believe that is just where you can check what cheats you've got installed um, and sort of edit them or play around with them or enable whatever but we haven't used this before change the joy-con colors so when you drop the joy-con into a switch it tells it like goes to a certain color blue red um, and then um, whatever that like, you can change those and I presume for pro controller uh, download payloads so uh, that would be um, your fusey primary but we've already got that um, so you don't need a new one and injecting it I don't know what those are so I'm not going to go into too much into what these other 
features are if you know what they are and you know how to use them by all means please do but if you're like me and you just want simple easy to use things use the other buttons all right so that is pretty much the video on what the all-in-one switch updater is if you have any co uh, questions please leave it in the comment section um, I will always try my best to answer any questions I have on there but um, please understand I am a novice the same as you and last little disclaimer using anything like this on your switch as with custom firmware does run a little bit of a risk so take you out you take that risk into your own hands and um, if it does I'm not gonna say it's gonna break your switch but there's always a possibility when messing around with custom firmware that you might not be able to uh, reboot your switch after anyway guys really appreciate you um, watching this video uh, thank you very much uh, you take care